Hey, I'm Randy and I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Here at the Cheap Audio Man, we don't feel like hi-fi equipment, speakers, amps, DACs, turntables, AV receivers, cables, brand new preamps should cost more than fixing your roof because last summer you you and your buddy who's an electrical engineer fixed the AC all by yourselves, but then you forgot to install the drip pan and then it leaked all over the roof in, inside, like the ceiling, not the roof, and then it damaged it. And it's all your fault. And, but you were really proud of yourself for fixing the AC, but guess what? Now you have to pay like $1,200 to fix your ceiling. And this doesn't, what is it? This is the new Emotiva. P1 preamp and the Emotiva A2 power amps behind us. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the Emotiva P1. Today's sponsor is Magico Electrical Tape. It's audiophile grade electrical tape coming from from your, your friends at Magico. It's $300 a roll, but it's audiophile, and you can paint it whatever color you want. Electrical tape by Magico, audiophile grade. This is the Emotiva PT1. I said P1 in the intro. That was wrong. It's the PT1, it's their new preamp. I love Emotiva. I love all their products. There hasn't been a single product that I've received from Emotiva that I haven't loved and raved about. To the point where one of the people in my comments uh, accused me of having a, an Emotiva tattoo. And I haven't gotten one yet. Uh, me and the marketing folks over there are working on the design of it because apparently I can't use their, their actual font because it's a trademark infringement. I've actually lived with the TA100, which is their old integrated amp, very similar to the PT1, and then I also had their A300 power amp, very similar to the A2, which is behind me. We're going to talk about the A2 today as well. So the price on the PT1 is $400. You get a fully functioning moving magnet or moving coil phono stage. You get a fully functioning DAC with USB inputs, optical inputs, and coaxial inputs. You get an FM tuner, and you get built-in Bluetooth, Aptex or AAC, or the codecs that they use. Codecs are basically how it communicates with your phone or mobile device, tablet, whatever it is. AAC is for Apple, Aptex is for Android. So they're not the latest and greatest codecs, but they are very good codecs. So it's nice to see AAC included because there's a ton of people out there that have Apple products. On the back, you have the ground for the phono, a switch for moving magnet or moving coil for the phono stage, phono input, CD input, auxiliary input, subwoofer output. Here's where it gets real interesting. They have outputs, main outs, that have a high pass filter put on them at 90 hertz. It's fixed at 90 hertz, which means the PT1 does bass management. Right next to it, you have your regular RCA outs. And then you have an antenna, just in case you want to listen to the radio. And then the DAC, you have coaxial in, optical in, USB, and then the Bluetooth antenna. So there's a couple of ways that you could hook up subs. One, you could just use the subwoofer out. Two, you could use the regular RCAs out. Three, you could do that both at the same time. So if you have multiple subs and one has an RCA input and one has an LFE input or whatever it is, you can use both of these connections. And if you want to get creative, you can actually split the RCAs. I know people say that you get a voltage degradation or whatever, but with the input sensitivities and all stuff like that, it's going to work just fine. I do it all the time. One of the very very few criticisms I had of Emotiva was the remote on the TA100. And remember, the TA100 fundamentally is the same thing as the PT1, except it was the previous generation and it had a power amp in it. So they had a standalone preamp, very similar to this previous generation. Anyway, 
this is this is what that remote looked like there we go sorry about that it took a long time anyway this is built like a child's toy that you get in a cereal box all right new remote much better remote this is very similar to an smsl or a topping remote it's not awesome but it works and it works way better than the well the previous generation worked let me say this is built way better and is it is it chiseled out of a piece of granite or aircraft grade aluminum no it's a remote control and this is four hundred dollars okay so let's not split hairs over what type of remote it gets the remote is better it's much better than the previous remote it works great and i love it this thing also has tone controls also it has balance controls and most everything has balance controls but this one has a 17 step balance control 17 steps of balance control also has bass and treble controls everything is accessible through the front panel also through the remote another one of the gripe i had against the first generation was the volume control it seems like you just had to spin it spin it spin it spin it there's a lot of steps in the volume control so number one they it's kind of been addressed here it's not nearly as difficult to change the volume and one of the reasons why is because of the actual the way that the volume knob is made this is knurled where this one is just smooth so smooth on the smooth on the old one knurled on the new one so anyway it's a lot easier to do this because you can't do it down here you just slide so mm, happy sad although i got over it because the thing was just so jam-packed and it sounded great some have said that the displays on Emotiva products can be a bit heavy-handed. It doesn't bother me. I like the blue lights. But on the new model, the PT1, you can actually turn off the display. So if you don't like the blue lights, just go to the dim setting and then go down to zero. It'll show you what's going on. Like if you switch inputs and then it'll go, go dark, go, go dark on you. Go dark. This also has a trigger out to turn your power amp, if it has a trigger in, on automatically on power up of the PT1. So let's talk about the A2. The A2 is the new BaseX two channel power amp. Retails for $450. So all in, you're looking at $850 for the preamp and the power amp. The A2 puts out a whopping 160 watts per channel into eight ohms and 250 watts a channel into four ohms. The TA100 and the A300, which for all intents and purposes, were the previous generation of these two, with the exception of the TA100 was an integrated amp. However, I didn't use it as an integrated amp. I only used it as a preamp. That, my previous system, the TA100 and the A300, was my reference setup. I knew it really well, I know how it sounds, and I would use it to test all my speakers. The difference between the A2 and the A300 as far as sound goes, mostly is in the instrument separation area and top end clarity. There's just more of it on the A2. It sounds like a more expensive amplifier. It sounds like a more refined amplifier. Let's talk about how the PT1 sounds. Phono amp. Sounds great. I also have the iFi Zen Phono in-house as well. And I compare the two. The iFi is a $180 phono stage. Splitting hairs. Literally splitting hairs between the internal phono amp in here and the $180 iFi Zen, which is basically almost half the price of this. It doesn't include sub-outs, doesn't include a deck or anything like that. The phono stage in here is very neutral and very detailed. I didn't really feel like there's any coloration going on. With the freedom of a moving coil or a moving magnet cartridge, this thing's got you covered for all your turntable needs. The DAC, okay, all inputs can handle 24192. The DAC in the PT1 is the analog devices AD 1955, I think. Yep, I got that one right. 
does 24 192 on all inputs it is also a very neutral sounding DAC doesn't it's not harsh and it's not like buttery or full at the same time it is what I would consider pretty much straight line neutral only gripe about this thing and it's the same as it was on the last one and it's not a gripe for me because I've I've done it enough times I know how to do it now is controlling the options the menu options getting into the bass, getting into the treble the balance things like that it can be a little bit frustrating okay I would challenge one that if they do get this do it ten times and you'll have it figured out so it's I always find anything to do with menu settings as being kind of a silly argument because it is nothing but learning. So the more time you spend with it, the more time you spend doing it, the better you're going to get at it. And guess what? That issue with the menus is not going to be an issue anymore. Obviously it doesn't have external bass and treble knobs. Fine. Whatever. This device gives one so much value it is mind-boggling everything is done in the analog domain here there's nothing done in digital no switching no volume control nothing is digital all analog this is very reminiscent of an old school high quality amplifier i could not recommend the pt1 and frankly the a2 enough okay let's just talk about the pt1 at 400 dollars you're getting a moving magnet and a moving coil phono stage. You're getting a fully functioning DAC that is well regarded. You're getting bass management, sub out, regular RCA out. So if you want to get creative, you can do multiple subs at the same time. Bluetooth and a device that's doing everything in the analog domain. It would be difficult to cobble together something that can do all of that cheaper, even in separate packages, even lower tier products. Again, Emotiva has one of the highest values in audio right now. Let's talk about the A2. The A2, I would challenge anybody to find a power amp that can put out as much clean power, and those are legitimate watts, put out that much clean power in that nice of a package for the same price. Or even like add 25%, add 30% and see if anybody can provide a power amp that can do what this thing does a B we're talking old school discrete parts that this thing does for $450 at $850 all in total investment on this thing you have a true separate system a true this thing could be your end game amplifier and preamp and here's the interesting thing if you can't afford or don't want to get the power amp right now you can just get the preamp and then hook up something like the IEMA A07, which is $70 or $75 or $80, okay? So at that point, you basically now have a $480 amp and preamp that would rival anything, almost double the price. Emotiva continues to set the bar for value. Build quality, sound quality, feature set, I don't know anybody else out there that's even remotely close to providing you with the feature set, the sound, and the build that the Emotiva can give you. $850, you have a true separate system. For $400, you can connect, uh, I would suggest if you're going to go Class D, connect the IEMA A07 to this because it's going to maintain that analog sound. Nobody's doing it. You, that's less than $500 for something like this. Bo moving magnet, moving coil, fully functioning DAC, Bluetooth, sub out, bass control, or bass management. I mean, come on, show me. I'm, I'm not trying to be a jerk here. I'm just saying, show me. Who else does something similar to this? Emotiva is not just a home theater company. They are here in the U.S. Everything is designed in the U.S. Their upper tier stuff is made in the U.S., okay? This is made by people who care about sound and want to give the best value they can. And once again, Emotiva knocks it out of the park. And I'm going to contact them and we'll finalize what my tattoo is going to be, my Emotiva tattoo. If you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio man. Every Sunday night, we have patron only Zooms. We also have a patron only Facebook group where you can buy, sell, hang out, talk to other audiophiles. And 
chit chat about anything you want to. You can also buy the product if you click on my link for the PT1. I always want to just call it P1. PT1, the A2 from Emotiva. I will get a commission on that. You can also sign up for Amazon Music HD for free. What's all the hubbub about high res music? Well, I don't know. Why don't you check it out for yourself for free for like three or four months? You also get Disney Plus for free. CSS Audio also reached out to me to do a summer raffle. They're giving away a pair of Crichton 1TD speakers. There's a link to Homes for Our Troops. Click on the link. It'll tell you all the details. You'll be supporting a great charity, and you may get a chance to win some speakers and amps and stuff. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen through your Emotiva PT1, your A2, or whatever it is, and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.